Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on nocturnal features. In this version, we're primarily going to talk about rip phase or identifying thoracoabdominal paradox. The AASM manual for the scoring of sleep and its associated events states that there are three rules for scoring hypopneas as obstructive versus central. This has always been controversial, but these rules are pretty straightforward. Number one, that there is snoring during the event. Of course, this is easily identified through the snoring channel. Number two, that there is increased inspiratory flattening of the flow signal when compared to baseline. And this is usually pretty easily identified through a nasal pressure transducer. But then there's number three, that there is an associated thoracoabdominal paradox during the event, but not during pre-event baseline. Trying to visualize where there is actual paradoxing of the respiratory effort channels has always been challenging, but this rip phase feature will help us in doing that. Here we see a five minute compressed view of a basic respiratory montage. We've got our flow channel, we have our rip flow channel or a sum, and our effort, thoracic and abdominal. In looking at these specific hypopneas, we can look at our effort channel and try to visualize to see if there is any paradoxing to help us determine if this is actually obstructive or not. Of course, this one does have snoring so that we would believe that it's obstructive, but the rip phase can help us in absolutely determining the origin of this event. To add this channel, we'll go to signals and data and click on rip phase to add it. I'm going to drag it down here underneath my effort channels and also increase its size just a little bit so that I can see it better. Double click on the channel to bring up the properties and I will set the axis. For 100% complete opposition of the respiratory channels, that would be a 180 degree signal. And then our low signal or complete agreement of the two effort channels would be a zero or completely in phase signal. I'm going to go over to my signal tab and also click for this to fill plot and you will see what this does as I apply it and then say OK. You'll see that the fill plot colors in the bottom part of the channel to really make it pop out to us. So now we can very easily see that before this event there was a little bit of paradox but not very much. Then during the event the paradox significantly increased. On the arousal breath, it almost totally dropped out, as we would expect when the efforts are in phase. For the next event, the same thing. Paradoxing built as the event was going on. And then this next event, which is an obstructive apnea, we can see paradoxing significantly build during the event and then drop out during the arousal breath. This channel helps us point out very clearly that these events are obstructive in nature. And of course, for a central event, we would see exactly the opposite, that we would not have an increase in paradoxing during the event for a central. I hope that this feature is helpful to you. Please let us know if we can help in any way.